So let me start with a brief anecdote. Last year, I was pursuing my master's at the University of Cambridge, United Kingdom, on a evening scholarship. I stayed in this beautiful accommodation at Darwin College with some lovely housemates. One fine day, I went to the kitchen to prepare a meal. And I saw this, a perfect red pepper sitting in the dustbin, just like a cherry atop a cake. Inquisitive to know why it was there, I texted my housemates, and one of the reply was, it was old and wrinkled and didn't think it would be any good. Seeing the pepper still perfectly ripe, I salvaged it from the bin, gave it a good wash, and prepared a meal out of it, thus realizing one person's trash could be another person's treasure. In my case, a meal. Now, what if I told you that the food that ends up in the waste bin contributes to 6% of the greenhouse gas emissions and is estimated to be worth 1 trillion US dollars? What if I also told you that there is a super sustainable solution that can help fight climate change, restore soil health, and also reduce greenhouse emissions? Composting. Now, I've been a conscious planeteer for quite some time now. Post my expeditions to the Arctic, I have made several personal changes in my life including switching to an electric two-wheeler, using sustainable products like menstrual cups, bioenzyme-based cleaners, carrying my own bottle like today, installing solar panels on my household, post-cyclone funny in 2019, repeating outfits like today, and many others. I'm grateful that I could make these changes, and I'm aware that not many are able to do so. However, composting is an activity within everyone's reach. When I first learned about composting from sustainability stalwarts like Vani Murthy and Vasuki Ayangar of the Solid Waste Management Roundtable Bangalore, I was simply hooked. As I researched more, I realized the immense potential that this simple activity could do and that we could include it in our everyday household activities. And today, I stand before you to tell you how we are contributing to this waste crisis and as we as a startup are trying to make a dent in this space. Now, before anything, let's understand what composting is. Imagine a forest leaves, twigs, and other organic matter which fall to the forest floor are decomposed or broken down by a variety of decomposers like fungi, bacteria, insects, etc. Composting is the same recycling of these nutrients or the breaking down of organic matter, including kitchen waste, scraps, peels, eggshells, cardboard, nail clippings, hair, etc., in a controlled environment. Factors like oxygen, nitrogen, moisture, temperature, and aeration need to be maintained. It's an ongoing and dynamic process. In short, nature's way of recycling is mimicked in a tank, pit, or a container. And the output is beautiful, rich, earthy, airy compost. Now, why should we compost? According to a first-hand research done by Daily Dump, pioneers of composting, they have found out that in a typical Indian household, 60 to 80 percent of the waste generated is biodegradable or organic waste. 20 percent is recyclable waste. 10 percent is hazardous waste and the remaining 10% is reject waste, which is to be sent to the landfill or to be incinerated. But when we do not segregate our waste 
all of this mixed waste goes to the landfill. Now in the absence of oxygen, this produces greenhouse gases like methane and nitrous dioxide. Methane is stronger than carbon dioxide in trapping the heat from the atmosphere. It has a global warming potential 30 times higher than that of carbon dioxide. And nitrous dioxide, 300 times stronger. Not good for the planet at all. Composting on the other hand side is an aerobic activity. The methane producing microbes are subdued in the presence of oxygen. Apart from reducing landfill emissions, composting is healthy. It makes the soil healthier. It reduces our dependence on fertilizers and chemical pesticides. It's life-giving. Composting also improves the soil structure and enhances the water retention capacity. But if compost is so incredible, then when, why don't we not just do it enough? Why isn't championed in more of our climate conversations? I personally believe that since compost needs to deal with leftover food, scraps, it seems like a time-consuming activity. It seems like it requires a lot of expertise. It seems like it's the work of the government to do. It seems that it cannot be done in small spaces or apartments. It's not cool enough. But if you are laboring under this misconception that compost is unappealing, I invite you to shift your view. We welcome you to the compost cafe situated on the outskirts of Bhubaneswar. It's a place for the learning and demonstration of all things composting. We have various types of home composting solutions like do-it-yourself composting, vermi composting, stack composting, pipe composting. We welcome everyone to touch, feel, and we go beyond market valuations and market capture. Together, we are working to provide composting solutions to bulk waste generators like schools, temples, government institutions, and organizations. But how do we make compost accessible and attractive to everyone? How do we overcome the myths and the conceptions that prevent people from adopting composting? Let me tell you about an initiative that we've been involved in with a government organ with a central government organization in Bhubaneswar. The folks here till now were dependent on the municipality for collecting their wet waste. However, episodes of contractors not coming regularly to pick up the waste and dogs littering the premises led them to ideate about composting. This is where we stepped in and partnered with them to set up a composting plant in the premises. The parking lot that you see was destined to be torn down, but it has now been converted into a composting plant. This required the coming together of various departments, canteen and gardening staff, officials and bureaucrats, and a lot of convincing that this would not be a stinky affair. As of now, I can say that on an average, we compost 40 kg of uneaten leftover food, dry leaves, coconut fronds, in these aerated cement tanks. Now, the organization that I'm talking about had a choice. They would not have taken any action at all. But by taking this step, they have collectively participated in a powerful form of climate activism. I cannot wait when they will harvest this black gold and use it widely in their green spaces and lawns. By now, it's clear. I am obsessed with compost. To those who say that compost is icky, dirty, or nasty, 
I can vouch and say that it is just the opposite. It's transformational, it's giving, it's safe, and it's life-affirming. Composting is an unconventional solution to the climate challenge. However, we can all do our bit. We can start by reducing our food waste, segregating our waste, and composting our waste. Because the compost that you create can help stop landfill pollution, restore soil health, and cut GHG emissions. With compost, you can give the waste a resource tag and give the soil the respect that it deserves. I end my talk here. Thank you so much.